Welcome back. I just finished my last video, which was a long, very long, almost an hour of analysis of a daily game that I don't think I learned anything from, which was pretty frustrating. So to help blow off some steam and just have some fun and remind myself that I started playing chess a lot because it's fun, I'm going to play some 3 plus 2 Blitz games just for fun. And uh, if you've never been here before, I'm not a titled player or a chess coach or anything like that. I'm just a random person who's trying to get better at chess. But occasionally I play Blitz just for fun. I reserve that rating for these purposes. We might learn something from these games too, I don't know. And also, I don't know what I'm going to get. I might have an opponent who doesn't make a move or who plays a very strange or odd opening, but I'm going to try to have fun with it. Take a deep breath and let's just go. Oh, I got the white pieces. I guess I should go first. And then, whoop, that's the Scandinavian. Let's take that. And they're going to play the modern variation. I don't know what's best against that. I think I can just give up that pawn and it'll be okay. Oh, they, they're they going to let me have another one. I'll take it. And then get this out. And I can pin that knight maybe with this bishop and then castle. Uh, okay, can, yeah, let's pin that. And they might push this forward. I don't know. If they do, I'll take first, I guess. Oh, they've pinned my knight, too. Well, that was fun. I think I should castle then and see what happens. Now they're... Oh, they, they, they put pressure on the pinned piece. That's what that's called, right? Well, let's take that then, and then uh, and take this, and then when they take back, I can pin their knight. Assuming they take back, they did. And now I've pinned their knight. So now I can put pressure on the pinned piece. They're a pawn ahead, though, aren't they? Interesting development in the Scandinavian. I am playing a little fast. I should probably take a little time to what what I don't know what that does, but let's go ahead and put that there. Can we then take the knight with our pawn? Oh, that would leave my queen exposed, wouldn't it? Okay. I'm trying to not play too quickly, but uh, my blitz rating is pretty low, probably because I don't take blitz very seriously, or I try not to. Oh, they they have challenged my rook. I can I just do that? And now they have to move the bishop. Oh, they okay. I'll take the bishop then. I can also get my queen out of this pen by checking here in just a second, but they can move their knight now. I, I don't know where they'll move it, but they, they will move it somewhere, I assume. One of those two squares, I, I, I think, back there to the sixth rank. But yeah, then I can check with my queen over here, which opens, okay, which removes the pen, and then I can move this knight to there, I guess, like here, challenging the bishop. Oh, but they could pen my knight. We can just have all kind of pens. Uh, also, I can take this knight. No, I can't because of their queen. I should have taken it right then. Oh my goodness. Once I cleared the pen out, I should have just taken their knight with my knight. Yeah, a little late now. Yeah, I, I see that now because both my knight and my bishop were pointed at that square. All right. Um, ooh, that's, that's tricky because if they take the rook, that's going to be mate, isn't it? Oh, wow. Okay, well, let's take this and then, then when they take back with the queen, I assume they will, then I'll move this. Okay. And now my rooks are protecting each other, so if they want to take, I will take. And then I need to do something like protect my rook one way or another. And not by going this way, because then their bishop will come down. Or this way, because their bishop... Uh, can I check? No, their rook will just take it. Oh, I can move my king over. Nope. So their bishop will come down. You know what? What if they, what if they bring their bishop down? I'll just take it. Um, let's see, where am I going to go with this knight to? Or should I leave the knight there and protect it with a pawn? I should also push this pawn to push that bishop away. Oh, okay. Um, let's do that. So the bishop is not a factor here anymore. I assume it's going to drop back. They've made a little hole for it to go in there. So maybe that's what they'll do. They're, they're taking their time. Okay, they did that. Now now that the bishop doesn't see this square anymore, I'm going to see if they want to get rid of the queen. Oh, I just gave up a pawn. Okay, uh, good for them if they take the pawn. They, di they did. Okay, then, then what should I do? I should not give up this. Okay. No. No. Oh, good job. Um, wow. Let's see. Can I go here? And I'm protecting both of these pawns as well as challenging their rook. And... Oh, they, they took that. Okay. Oh, I don't want to check then. I want to take their rook and then they're going to... Okay. Wow. They, they're going faster now. So I, I'm going to go here. They can check me. But I don't think they can get a perpetual. I think I can get out of this. Maybe. They, um, all right. They can take that pawn now. But then I can check them here. And they can move up. And then I can take this pawn with check. They can block with the bishop, which they might do. They did. Good thing my king wasn't on the other end of that. Then I guess I can come here and protect that pawn. Assume they're going to check now. I'll have to... Oh, no, I can't go that way. 
Oh, they they went over there. Okay. Um, can I do this? They oh they traded queens with me. Okay, I need to protect my pawns on the way down. They're running out of time, so I think I'm going to pull this off because of the time factor. They're, if they move that pawn again, I will just take it. Oh, I I want on time. Okay. Wow, I, I felt like I messed up the opening of that and then kind of had to come back based on opponent blunders. It was a little hectic, and and I know I made that one miss where I should have taken their knight with my knight because it was free. Okay, we both played in the 62 percentiles. Oh, I had an advantage, but then I gave it away. Oh, my opponent had a... No, I had a made in four that early? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I had two misses, one blunder, one mistake. That's not horrible. My opponent didn't have any blunders. Really? Just two misses. And we played, wait, how did we play in the 500 range? Oh, my opponent had an advantage at the end. I thought I had an advantage at the end. Did, did I make, wow, I, I was way off. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to get those pawns down, but I wasn't because they have a bishop. Okay, that was horrible then. I, I just won on time. There's no point in going through that, is there? Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, oh, wow, my opponent was up minus two at the end. Okay, well, uh, some, some days aren't ideal for playing chess. That's just the way things go. Oh, okay. come on. We're going to do that. Let's do it. Okay. Now we're, now we're in this. Okay. We're just going to have an opening, I guess. It's the ready opening Slav invitation. That's what it says. Um, I, I don't know, man. Let's go this way. They played those first few really fast. So maybe they do the ready a lot. They're, they're not playing it fast now. I don't often fee in Kato, but I guess, I guess I will here. Um, oh, why don't we take that and then go here. Castle, like something like that. And then that pawn is not yet takeable, but it's vulnerable. They, oh, they went over there. Okay. Can, I don't know, make that knight do something? Are they going to try to trade off both those pieces for this rook and this pawn? They didn't. Okay. I was curious about that. Can we see where can this knight go? No. Can I get it to that pawn? Not really. Wow. Or maybe I don't know how knights work. Let's get this guy off the back rank and then get this knight off the back rank as well. I'm, I guess I could just put it over there and then come in this way with it or something. Or should I try to shoot forward the A pawn? I don't know, but I want to get my pieces developed. I don't want to do the thing where I start attacking and I still have a bunch of trapped pieces on the back rank. Um, if that picture is anywhere close to accurate on that profile, then, then my opponent is uh, might be around my age, which doesn't happen every day on this site. Oh, they, they must have thought I was coming in here. Okay, I, I am coming in here. Oh, oh, I see what they've done. They've put another attacker on that piece. Nice. Should I, should I put another defender on it then? And then I can't put the knight over on d7 because it would block my queen from defending that. Oh, they took it anyway. Okay. Oh, that, yeah, that didn't work out at all. I, I, I really messed that up. I, let's just have fun with it, right? That's what we're here for. Maybe if that knight goes away, then I will get it and I won't be a piece behind anymore. It won't go away, probably. They're probably going to leave it there. Let me take it and then take back, is my guess. And they'll use the meantime to bring in, bring in a rook or push a pawn or something. Although that image in the profile that I was talking about, it, now that I think about it, it looks more like a stock photo than, than an actual uh, profile. Oh, they... Okay, that's one way to go with it, I, I guess. Oh, they attacked my queen. That's never happened to me before. Oh, are they going to put a rook behind it? I, I don't care if they do, because I was going to go this way, I think. Yep. All right. Going to go attack my trapped rook, because I didn't have time to get it out. Might as well do that. RJ's doing pretty good for being in the 600s. You know, I say more power to him. Oh, he didn't go for the trapped rook. It's not trapped anymore. Oh, I could have just taken their rook. I'll do it now. And then, uh, I guess, take that. And then put this over here, ooh, right there maybe. No, where should I put it? Oh, I went for mate. Nice. I don't know how to, how to, if I can stop that, can I stop? Oh, my queen's there, so I think I can stop it. Let me just maybe ride this guy in here and see what happens. They went up there to, oh, want mate like this? It won't be mate, but then they'll be hitting my bishop. So should, can I stop that like, like this, maybe? Okay, oh, they did, they went for it, oh. Okay. Am I winning? I don't know if I'm winning or not. I think, okay, I'm, a, I'm slightly up on material, so I might be almost winning. Okay, um, you know, just a check-in. I, I should win that pawn, shouldn't I? What's he going for there? I don't know. I'm going to take this pawn. Oh, it checked me with the other piece. Good job. Now I can take my bishop, but if he does, I'll take his knight. Oh, he, he let me have the rook. Okay. 
that's one way to go. Uh, you know what? Good for that. And can we push this pawn? Okay. And where are we going? Um, I'm, I'm going to go here and then push that pawn like so. Oh, I should have just taken his knight with my rook. Oh, I'm going to do that now. And then cut off his king from moving forward at all. And see where his king goes. It went back there. Okay. Then, I guess, push this pawn up. Oh, you went in there. Okay. Where are you going to go now? You can only move that pawn. I have to be careful to leave, it, to leave him some legal moves. Oh, unless I'm checking him. All right. Oh, I won that. I, I know I was behind on at, at some points in that game. But I, tr I tried to keep a, a good attitude. And uh, I think my opponent found some interesting things. But other places went completely predictable. And I clearly missed some things by moving too fast. Just out of curiosity, let's run the game review and see if we are both incredibly in inadequate chess players. Okay, I've actually played a little bit more accurately than the first game. I definitely gave my opponent chances through there. Oh, my opponent played 250. Sorry, guy. Assuming it's a guy. It's a picture of a guy. I played a little bit better. It says my opening was spectacular, but then I started to falter in the middle game, but then I came back in the end game. I want to look at a couple of spots here, like right there that was inaccurate my opponent had a slight advantage but that was a huge blunder oh see i didn't know it was a huge blunder i thought that they had added an extra piece to that okay but i know the mistake i made was thinking i could help defend that with my queen before they put that in there they had two pieces def attacking and i had two pieces defending so i thought i'll add a third defender but no that would have gotten rid of my queen that didn't make any sense should i have taken it with my bishop is that what i should have done oh that quit defending the other knight Oh my goodness, they just hung their other... Yeah, see, I, that's one I did not see or notice during the game. Okay, well, that's what I did wrong there, was not take the free knight, so then they had a huge advantage. Okay, they gave away that huge, huge advantage again right here. Their plus four, looks like. And what should they have done here? Oh, oh that's when I said they, they were going to go after my rook there. My free rook. That's what they should have played... But they delayed that by bringing that rook over. And should I have just taken it? I should have right then. I just didn't see it till the next move. I was worried about them going after my free rook. So I played my third best move. And they should have moved their rook back. But instead they played this nonsensical move. Which let me take their rook. And they took back. And I should have come over here. Rook to e8 to pen. But I did not. I took that pawn. Oh their knight could have escaped to g5. Or they could have played rook to e5. Were there only two moves? Interesting. That's a blunder. Uh, I see. I, I didn't know that was a blunder, but only if I play rook to e8. I did not. I, I went up there for some reason, and now they're supposed to go this way. I don't know exactly why, now that my rook is free. But they went up there. Oh, I only had one move here, and I found it. Okay, that was clutch. Good job, me. It was their best move to take, so we did that. They should have checked with their rook at this point, but instead they checked with the knight, which allowed me to come toward it. Well, that was interesting and fun. Uh, I did win, so, I mean, I'm happy about that, but I, but the, the game was, was pretty chaotic. So let's try one more. All right, we have the black pieces once more. Let's get a Karakon defense. Finally, something I'm remotely familiar with. I think, yeah, I said we get this about that, that variation quite a bit. They usually play d4 here. Oh, they didn't. They played the bishop out. Okay, I'll block with the bishop then, and I will take it. Then I can play e6 to defend that pawn and get this bishop out once they play d4. Oh, they did not play d4. Okay. Well, I'll still get this bishop out, and then and then we'll castle, and I think we're going to be okay. Oh, I'm not scared of that because my other knight's here, so I'm going to go ahead and put this over there. If they take that, I will take back. That's one reason to come uh, with this knight over this way instead of up there is because it protects the other knight i should probably play h6 here pretty soon but they might just drop back and that's okay i probably should have played that before castling i don't know if the rook to e1 is a good move in the Karo Khan defense i i don't know i know it is in a lot of e4 openings but i don't know about the Karo Khan defense but but i see it a lot it just it feels like a wasted move sometimes not all the time sometimes um can i can i just no, 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 no. If I come down here, they do the knight to b5. Let's stop the knight to b5 then first. Oh, they went back over there because they want to trade knights with me. You know, that's fine. And they're going to try to lift the rook around over here, I think. No, they're going to they're going to do that. What should we do? 
Let's push a pawn and then maybe push this one. We do need to get some of, rid of some of these pawns for my sake because I have a bishop. Oh, they I, I left a pawn undefended, so they found it. But they left a pawn undefended, and I found it. So does that make us even? Nope, it doesn't make us even because of that. All right. Well, I have to move over. Are they going to come here and challenge my rook? They might. They they went over there aiming for... That's mate, right? I think that's mate. Should I Should I push the pawn? Like so? And that pawn's still undefended, and I'm still thinking about taking it, but I, I'm not sure. It looks like their knight is trapped now. It doesn't have anywhere to go. That's good. Oh, it, well, except for there. I mean, that's a good place, right? Now they can go here with it and threaten my rook, but then I'll move my rook over someplace. Maybe not there, maybe over here. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking of coming in this way to, to offer a queen trade. What? Oh, that pawn's undefended. Man, can I can I defend it this way? With my king, and then maybe, I don't know, put my rook over there. They might try to come back this way, because it seems like they're trying to do this attack with just their queen and their knight, which might be the reason that their attack is, hasn't worked yet. Oh, okay, they're, they're bringing another thing to the party here. Um, I need to get my queen out of danger, but then that undefends the bishop. They're going to get my bishop. No, I can't defend the bishop, can I? But I can, but I can threaten their knight. Oh no, not if they take the bishop, I can't. Wow, I just lost a piece. They... That was free, right? What? Okay. Well, I'll save it then. No, I can't now because they have two pieces on it. So I have to move it like here and then I can maybe defend it this way. Or do I have to bring it all the way back? I can't bring it there. Their queen's guarding that spawn. This one's making a good game of it. Is that, is that Germany? Yeah, that is Germany. Okay. Well, I, we can trade those off. That's okay with me. And uh, I, ooh, I don't know. Let's, let's push this pawn. Oh, they're going to take that with their queen. But we can trade queens. I'm, I'm willing to give up the one pawn I had that I am to get a queen trade because that makes the opponent's job a little harder, I think. Unless they're a rook mastermind. I meet those players occasionally that are so much better with their rooks than I am. So let's see if they want to take out a pawn and do a queen trade. They didn't, but they, they found a way to protect that rook. So good for them. All right, let's see if they want a queen trade over here. No, if I move over there, they'll take the pawn. Can I go over here and threaten this pawn? They can take that pawn now. I think they're going to take my e-pawn, but I'm not sure. Oh, they went back to protect that one. What if I went in here? Now they can take the e-pawn. They did. Check. That time is ticking. What, what, are they going to, what are they going to play? Nothing? They didn't... They're not going to play their last move? Okay. I, we don't have to look at the game review in this one to know. I also did not do well in this one. I missed some things, but that's okay. I'm not here on these games to learn how to play chess here. I was just trying to have some fun, and, and I won all three, so that was a little fun. And I think that went up again, didn't it? I think 62 on the first one, 67 on the second one, and 68 on this one. And again, I played the opening really well and got up to a pretty decent advantage, but gave it away. My opponent had a middle game advantage. That This is very common for me since I have studied a few openings. I play the opening pretty well most of the time, but somewhere in the middle game, I miss a tactic. My opponent gets a lead. And then if I win, it's because they, they gave away the lead very often. And I played like a 650 again. Okay, well, that's pretty close to my my uh, blitz rating here. All right, I'm not going to go through that one. I w This was just for fun. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you spending your time here, and I'll see you next time.